All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak Rosh, the waters of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk with them, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. All right, with that, I'm going to, uh, you know, get straight uh, to it. Uh, another one out of uh, Second Kings, all right, dealing with a particular situation, all right, and, and uh, applying it to especially to what's, you know, the times we're going to be stepping in. Hey, we're going to be having, you know, here soon you're going to have brothers, uh, you know, when Esau Edom is bringing his society to its end, you know, the mark of the beast is uh, up and rolling. You know, FEMA camps is grabbing and snatching fools up. It's warfare in the streets. You're going to have the Heavenly Father. He's going to be allowing miracles to happen through the way of his men. All right, and, and if you make fun of that, or if you don't believe in the majesty of the Heavenly Father, we'll make sure you pay for that, all right? 2 Kings 7 and 1, it says, uh, Aslakia, 2 Kings, yeah, chapter 7, verse 1. It says, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord, uh, thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gates of Samaria. All right, verse 2. So basically, uh, he was telling them, uh, you know, just to sum it up, there was a famine in the land. You know, there wasn't any, there literally, there was no food. You know, uh, a couple chapters back, it told you, it said, uh, what was it, a, a donkey's head was going for, I believe it said 20 shekels of silver. All right, so in today's time, imagine uh, one hot dog going for going for 100 bucks. You know, serious money for something very small because of the famine. This is basically what Elijah, uh, uh, Elisha, Salakia, was basically uh, saying that the food is going to be plentiful again and it's going to be cheap again because of how much food we're about to receive. All right, so verse 2, it says, Then a Lord whose hand the king leaned, uh, then a Lord on whose hand the king leaned, answered the man of the Most High Power and said, Behold, if the Lord <laughs> would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. So there was a man, he was a Lord, he was a, a, a Israelite, he was in the, in the king's household, uh, and the king, you know, had his hand upon him, probably one of his right hand men or so, and he said, you know, he said, hey, the only way that's going to happen is if the Lord made opened up windows and allowed food to come falling. All right, and what was Elisha's reply to him? He said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. Hey, this man mocked the Heavenly Father. He laughed at the Lord. And, hey, you know, just like I know, many scriptures, you know, literally the one scripture, uh, the Lord is not a man that he should be mocked. All right, and that's something that we're going to have to remember Going into these days and these times. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be performing miracles. And you have to believe that. And if you see a miracle being performed in front of you. Whether it be by you. You know uh, straight up divine intervention. Or you know the Lord put the spirit on one of the brothers. You know don't get into you know. Uh, 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 infidel mode. Unbeliever mode. You know hey the Lord might put the spirit on a brother. You know let's say y'all out on the run. FEMA troops you know running y'all down. You know, her brother, like, man, you know what, I, I, hey, man, I, watch this, and then the brother, and you, like, man, I, what you, man, man, what you, <laughs> you know, you start bugging out, man, that brother turn around and snap his fingers, and the fucking earth open up and swallow them up. All right, am I saying that's gonna happen to every single brother? No. All right, some of us have to be uh, beheaded for this truth. You know, hey, not everyone is gonna be uh, also, hey, the elect. When they're transformed, are gonna have uh, access to those capabilities, you know. But hey, some brothers are gonna be performing miracles, you know, at the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to be an example. And we can't be of those who don't believe. All right, you don't want to be. Don't be. Uh, don't pull. You know, I'll I'll get it in a second. Let me finish this off. Second uh, Kings chapter seven. <clears throat> so I'm gonna jump down. And based uh, to sum it up, at this time, you know, there's a famine in the land, like I had said. 
uh, the Lord had put the spirit on the on the, uh, a group of heathens, the Syrians. Basically, they had like a whole little army set up not too far, and they had abandoned it and left everything there, all the food, all the animals, all the garments. And so a couple of Israelite men came upon it, and they told the king. So the Israelites uh, ran and basically got all that stuff and was back straight, you know, was back eating and talking shit. Uh, so now Second Kings seven sixteen, it says, and the people went out and spoiled the tents of the Syrians. So a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. And the king appointed the Lord on whose hand he leaned to have charge of the gate. So that man who had scoffed in the beginning, the king said, "You go down there at the gate. You know, make sure they're not down there getting crazy." All right, watch those coming in and watch those going out. It says, and the people trolled upon him in the gate, and he died as the man of the Most High Power had said, who spake when the king came down to him. Khan, hey, and that was his judgment. You know, he he uh, basically he uh, undermined the capabilities of the Heavenly Father. All right, and we know. Hey, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, they can do all things. This uh, was it, the one scripture I believe in Luke. Nothing is impossible to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right? So when, hey, when the Lord starts performing these miracles, you know, hey, key, hey don't be on the, man, 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 oh, man, no, that ain't finna happen, man. We, hey, don't get in that spirit. You got to remember uh, scriptures like these. Hey, you may get, you may get delivered uh, straight up out of a situation that appears to be de uh, deadly. All right, a brother may do it, or the Lord may just have. Hey, the Lord may have an angel come down. All right, and the, uh, you know I'm talking about when we're clearly in the uh, end game scenario. Uh, end game scenario. You know when the mark of the beast is out. You know World War Three is raging. Uh, martial law in these American streets and it's chaos in this world. All right, the Lord said He's gonna be. He's gonna be. He's going to save us. He's going to be doing things uh, before our eyes. So you have to believe it. And you can't scoff it and you can't doubt it. Otherwise, the Lord ain't going uh, to defend you. All right, let me get this out of, uh, out of Judith. Yep, another example. Uh, once again, dealing with the famine. Judith chapter 8. And I'm going to start at verse 14. Uh, let me see. You know what, actually... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to jump down actually to verse 16, straight to the point. It says, do not bind the counsels of the Lord, or uh, do not bind the counsels of the Lord our power. For the most high power is not as man, that he may be threatened. Neither is he as a son of man, that he should be wavering. Con, and you have to remember that. The Heavenly Father, hey, that dude, that Lord, back in that second Kings, hey, he had bound the counsels of the Heavenly Father. He said... The only way he can do it is if he was to make windows. Hey, the Heavenly Father, there ain't no the only way concerning Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They can do uh, as they please. All right? Hey, the Heavenly Father is the only creature. Hey, even Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is under the Heavenly Father. So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, all right, he can do literally as he pleases. He can literally do all in which he wishes to do. All right? So we can't... Uh, you know, don't don't undercut it. You know, oh man, that's not, man. We finna die, man, man. Niggas, I, man, I knew I should have just went to college, man. Y'all got me, hey. You know, hey, don't get in that. <laughs> hey, you know how Jake get, you know, shit get hard on him. Don't get in that spirit. You know, don't don't. Hey, remember who? Remember who we work for? All right. You got motherfuckers. Hey, but some motherfuckers is making one hundred fifty thousand a year working here. You, some motherfucker. You know, working for a music studio. Hey, we work for the. We're work. We work for uh. What was that one movie? The Adjustment Bureau. What did they call him? The director. All right, they called the Heavenly Father the director in that movie. If I uh, if I remember correctly. All right, he directs the whole show. All right, verse uh, seventeen. Therefore, let us wait for salvation of him and call upon him to help us, and he will hear our voice. If it please him, con, hey, so, hey, we sit and wait for the salvation, you know, don't be, hey, uh, check your lips, you know, don't, don't let your mouth uh, get you in trouble, all right, I'll get another example real quick, dealing with the, 
Sarah, all right, which is why Isaac was named uh, what he was named, all right, in which Sarah, you know, she didn't get a, you know, luckily for her, hey, she didn't get punished because hey, that, that was uh, that was something worthy of a punishment. Genesis chapter 18, I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. So she went through the stage of menopause. She was no longer <clears throat> Slakia. Uh, she had stopped being able to produce children. She was barren. All right. Verse. Uh, and Slakia. Uh, uh, she was already uh, barren. Uh, but, you know, eventually she got older. Uh, it says uh, stricken in age. It doesn't give. It, it, it lets you know, you know, when Isaac. Uh, was born how old uh, Abraham was I believe but you know she was old it's not a normal thing for a older woman you know a woman that's past uh you know 45 50 they they hit that menopause you know literally so they're actually no longer able to give birth all right verse 12 it says therefore Sarah laughed within herself saying after I am waxed old shall I have pleasure uh, my lord being old also hey is hey she laughed hey this was uh if I were to start up, basically, the angels had told, uh, they were telling Abraham that, you know, your wife, she's going to be pregnant, and she's going to give birth, and it says, she, uh, she laughed within herself, hey, you know the, you know the NB, you know the, is the Israelite woman, let you say something, uh, and she don't like it, what, what, boy, you silly, and she, they do that, look down, look up at you, and turn on you, and get to, Hey, that's that's what she, you know, she was around the corner. You know, she says she laughed within herself. Hey, and that's what she did. That's where our women get it from. Verse 13, it says, And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of sh shall I of surety bear a child which am old? All right, hey, and the Lord uh, heard it. Matter of fact, when you jump down to verse 15, it says, Then Sarah denied, saying, I laugh not. For she was afraid, and he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. All right, hey, the Lord, he just said that. You know, he didn't punish her, but he said, Nah, you laughed. All right, because she, she knew that she had messed up. She knew that uh, it, was, it was wrong. That's why I said, and she, uh, for she was afraid. All right, so that's another thing. Hey, if you do slip up, you know, you got to uh, you gotta acknowledge that immediately. You know, don't let that, you know, hey. The Lord says he can raise us back from death. We have nothing to fear other than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So don't fear anything else to the point to where it will cause your fear for the Heavenly Father uh, to falter. To where you'll stop believing in his capability to provide you with a miracle. Alright, matter of fact, let me get this. Real quick. Kind of perfect. Matthew 10 and 28. It says, And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. God, so fear the heavenly father, because he can uh, fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. They can let you soak up in that nuclear missile fire, or they could choose to save you out of it through whatever type of, uh, what was that? Uh, that old, that Disney, what, uh, Mickey Mouse, when he was a magician, what do they call it? Uh, uh, phantasm all right or f fant fuck i forget uh basically he can save you in, in in all types of strange manners all right which the scriptures picked let me get another one hey that's why it says this in wisdom of solomon 5 and 2 it says when they see it they shall be troubled with fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for so us being saved in the first place is going to be a strange and amazing thing so how how little is it for you how about to do to do other things for you all right let's say you know hey you out it's been uh, it's been seven days you know you starving stomach hitting your back man hey don't you can't don't get in that spirit you have to remember when uh the raven was bringing Elijah food all right the Lord could literally be uh dragging you out to see what you're gonna do on the last day. And if you maintain the faith, literally a, a, a fucking pigeon will come drop your favorite meal on you. 
All right, food. Hey, fast food and went out of business. You know they they. It's martial law on the streets. Don't ain't, ain't nobody cooking burgers. The Lord can come bring you your favorite meal in this uh, in this captivity. All right, through the strangeness of His salvation, can come bring you down your daggone double cheeseburger. Uh, with your side of fries and a, 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 a motherfucking five Oreos for you, all right? Because you did good. You have to believe in the, in uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's abilities to save, all right? Hey, it's it, faith, you know, which uh, that ties into this video. That guy in the beginning, it never specifies his name. It just called him one of the lords of the kings. He didn't have that faith. He wasn't a spiritual man. He wasn't deep. He didn't have that connection with the Lord, otherwise he wouldn't have made that statement, uh, basically, I don't want to say threatening, but, you know, oh Lord, oh you, basically, uh, not taunting, I can't think of the word, he was downplaying the majesty of the Heavenly Father, in other words, God, and I'll uh, end it on this one, just to reinforce the point, what is it, Jeremiah 32, let's see, yep, yeah. Just to reinforce it. This mug got uh, got exclamation mark, you know, in it. Hey, Jeremiah 32 and 17. It says, ah. Hey, I'm going to just read. Hey, it says, ah, how about Shimmy, how shy power, all right? It actually says, ah, Lord, power, or ah, Lord, God, exclamation point, all right, or exclamation mark. Behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee, all right? And you have to remember that. And the times that we coming into, hey, these faithless ass people, they wear their mask because they're scared of COVID. They don't have faith in the Lord. They do whatever the so-called white man tells them. They stay in their house. You know, niggas is pouring hand sanitizer into their fucking nostrils. They don't have any faith. They don't realize that the Lord could literally uh, could make them asymptomatic. The Lord could infect them with COVID but not have you suffer from any of the symptoms and then make you a carrier of it and allow you to... Uh, <laughs> Give it to other people and tear their ass up. And you not suffer not a single ounce. Nor feel any ill effects from it. They don't have that understanding. They don't realize that the Lord could stop a, a fucking speeding bullet. And send it around you. That the Lord could uh, make a car that's about to hit you. Swerve in the other direction. In a, literally in, in a what we would consider to be defying the laws of physics. Here it is. His will was already counter steered all the way over. And the Lord could just have his car whip the other way when his wheels turn in one direction. All right, there's nothing too hard for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We have to re remember that going into uh, these times. All right, dealing with with uh, double E, Esau, Edom, all the little tricks and games he's playing. Hey, the Lord is making sure his men eat. You know, you got some motherfuckers that ain't worked in these past couple months. Hey, you got some people that's probably homeless, you know, that, that didn't lost it all. But the Lord is going to take care of his, all right, as long as you believe. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakhak Rash, the honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wakwatim, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.